rappers be talking about, I got your bitch. Instagram got your bitch. Mm-hmm. Instagram got your bitch. <laughs> like, I'm sorry, I know my Christian scorecard just went down for using a profane, a profane piece of language. Uh, <laughs> you ain't got your Instagram got all y'all, because they're going to do it for the gram before they do it to you. They're going to send mm-hmm. a picture to the gram before they send it to you. Social media doing more to hurt families than it is to help families, and families are the key to health. What are we even talking about here? We already know Instagram Instagram took your girl a long time ago, and she, Instagram is not giving your girl back. That's a fact. I know Yeezy is under the controversy right now, but in the sole aspect of keeping the family structure healthy, we not living happy lives. We not congruent right now. We not trying to build. Everybody trying to get clout and attention, myself included, but I'm not doing it for that because I'm already good. I'm just here to speak and talk into the mic because it's just a different avenue of where we're going right now. Yo, the fact <laughs> he said, I don't got your girl. Instagram got your girl. That's a fact. If she's giving all of her attention to the gram, give it up. She's gone. She is not yours anymore. You cannot do anything with that because any conversation you try to have around this subtle aspect of your girl throwing her cheeks online, she is not going to listen. She's going to be, oh, you're insecure. You don't know me. This is for monetary gain. Once it starts to get into the money conversation on how you portray yourself online, that's when you know it's going to be a dastardly deed to try to get over this hump. Your girl is not taking her body offline. If it was there before you met her, it's going to be there when you leave. It just is what it is, especially if that's how she makes her bread. So, yeah, Instagram got your girl. She's gone because I see so much things on the Internet. In my Explore page, my Explore page is disgusting. <laughs> in a good way it's filled i'm like yo when did instagram get so rated r like buttholes um nipples very skimpy lingerie like my whole aspect is just tainted with women and i know there's a lot of guys out there like this so how do we we can't operate in these spaces because if you're someone that doesn't watch porn heavily cool like i'm like you know you watch porn once in a blue moon whatever every other week two weeks whatever not nothing crazy but you still get a lot of those sexual aspects on instagram snapchat tiktok everything i see half naked women everywhere and i don't really know if they're trying to monetize their body or if this this is just their day-to-day life Like, I don't know. I can't decipher these codes. So what do we do now when Instagram has your girl lost in the sauce, in the matrix, trying to figure it out? She posts a picture of her reading, talking to her family. She gets 100 likes. She turns around, posts another picture of her twerking, booty hole in the camera, thong on with a skirt. She gets 75,000 likes. What are we going to do? We can't do anything. So, yeah, I be looking at it like that. Like, I can only agree with Ye on this specific situation of, yo, (laughs) Instagram took your girl and she is, (laughs) Instagram is not giving it back. It's a wrap. Because I'll even get DMs. Like, people, like, the crazy thing that sometimes women may not even realize, and this is a tough one. I don't know if this just comes to me because my Explorer page is terrible. Or this is just something that just gets sent out to all guys. There'll be like a random PR rep in your DMs. Like, hey, you seem like you like this, this, and that. Like, they're just saying like, oh, you seem like you like tall Brazilian women with bubble butts and cute feet. And then they'll just send you like, (laughs) they'll just send you like pages of these women. I'm like, yo, can you solicit like this in DMs? Like. So, yeah, y'all think it's a game, yo, everything. And I'm bringing this back full circle to communication, dating, and everything in between. Because how can we communicate when everything is visual? No one is stepping on the phone. No one is getting on the phone. No one even cares. I don't even think people are actually building the mental kind of 
stability and bandwidth that you need to have real genuine conversations because everything is warped by the things we get in 60 second clips. So everything is coming in a 60 second clip. Your dating advice, 60 second clip. What you do in the gym, 60 second clip. And it's really just about, it's really just about what you wear in the gym because some of the things I see online now, I'm like, I didn't even care about the workout. She was nice. (laughs) I didn't care anything about the workout. So I'm like, wait, everything is broken down into a 60 second little. I'm like, bruh, who learns like this? You can't learn anything. It's all just like, okay, next, next, next. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I like this. I don't think that's the way we're supposed to be operating. So if I go back to Ye's initial point, how do we build healthy families from this quick microwave mentality or society that we're in now? Because are the women and guys can maybe answer this and I'm probably going to jump into something really quick, mix it up a little bit, but how many guys and girls, how many people that you meet are actually interesting? Like you're actually intrigued to meet them. You are, you have a genuine interest in their personality Not the way they look, not the car they drive, not the restaurant that you notice that they're in, their actual personality. A lot of people cannot agree to that. So when you're meeting people, you have these bum ass conversations, you get slayed in the first night, guy or girl, because guys getting used now too. If you're a very attractive dude and you think women are not trying to sleep with you just to say they did it, you're asleep. We're not going to go in there. That's not where the conversation is going. It's about a healthy family dynamic and these social media apps. Because like I say, Instagram is the coloring book for adults. All we're doing is just using one thumb. They were using at least two fingers with a pencil. Like, we're using a thumb. We getting worked. But, dude, I don't really find a lot of girls interesting, bro. Like, honestly. Yeah. Like, I really don't. Okay, a lot of what, girls say is, are not, like, are just not yeah, interesting. Yeah, they have copy and paste personalities. They're just not interesting. It's just social media that did that. Like I go on these dates, these blind dates, these dating apps, whatever. When I used to do it, I don't do it anymore. Hence, People were just boring. I was like, this is boring conversation. Why am I here? There's no point. I can be having a better time watching a movie, reading a book, shopping, anything. Anything else is better. This is a waste of my time and sometimes money because you're paying for drinks or paying for dinner going on these coffee dates, wasting your time, paying for gas, buying Ubers, whatever people doing out here in these streets. And it's like, yo, there's no real connections being built because everything is based on frivolous rhetoric and frivolous foundations. Like the foundations are shallow. You damn near might as well be putting your house on water with no type of flotation device. It's going to (laughs) sink. It's a wrap. Uh, Yeah, like when you meet people now, it's just like nothing. It's all regurgitated information. And we all we get it on both sides, men and women. But I hear it. I'm like, yo, how many guys have you asked the same question? Are you not actually bored of asking this question now? Like we get it. The what do you do for work? Doing your free time. Are you into travel? Like all these different things. I'm like. There's so many things you could be asking if you actually took the time to just relax, get to know the person, have real conversations, maybe talk on the phone, actually build and communicate. Then, yeah, maybe we could get somewhere. We could probably get somewhere for sure. But nope, we're not doing it. It's a different type of time. People are not trying to connect on that level. And if you go and even watch that that podcast, Raw Talk from Bradley Martin, it's like, yo, they go into a lot of different facets of dating culture, society, social media, and how things are warping people's minds. And that's a big takeaway. This dude is young. (laughs) And he's like, people are boring. That's crazy. But different type of, a different type of, you know, state in life. He's well-traveled, meeting a lot of different people. He's tapped in. So that's a different story. So maybe the average 20-year-old might not say that. They might be like so enthralled by the women out here that they don't even care. And that's probably what it is, too, because he's operating from maybe a standpoint of a 26 or a 27 year old as far as being well traveled, being on a very popular podcast or whatever the case may be. So it's just a different type of time. But, yeah, what he's saying isn't wrong. People do show up and they expect you to kind of lead the conversation, do everything. And I don't know how that works. 
but I guess I, it's going back to what I said. Like people aren't intrigued by actually meeting people. They're more intrigued by seeing what they're going to get out of the situation. Is it going to be a nice date? We're going to Nobu. We're going to brunch. We're going to a hot air balloon, whatever the thing is. Oh, the person is aesthetically pleasing. They're tall. They're dark. They got the melanin, as they like to say. They got the six pack. They're in the new foreign. So many different nuances to the <laughs> to the type of time we're on. I don't I no longer get it. I really kind of stay out of the way because I already knew what was up. I figured out like, oh, the streets are done. Everybody is wasting each other's time. It's no point for me to be out here. 